Okay, guys, so we dealt with the um, um, the basic form. Also, our mirror has disappeared. There we go, that's better. Um, and now what we need to do is try to work on the base a little bit here and also this front piece here, which, which is important. So uh, we could create some kind of, you know, cuts in here as well. Uh, not move this, create cuts, so Alt-W and... Yeah, we could actually create, you know, so here we have a choice. We could create either like a round cut, sort of like bolt or, um, you know, um, kind of vertical ones. I mean, sort of kind of rectangular ones. I think I'm going to go with the rectangular ones, uh, to be honest. So cut this and in fact, let's go with object and draw it again from here. Drop it down and go with a wedge. And let me, how is how we looking? Let's sharpen this. Uh, we're not looking too good. That's not a wedge. We want a we want a wedge. So W, boom. That's the one. Sharpen and then sharpen. And now you're talking. Same here. We need some kind of you know um, cuts in here. Now what we want is monitor. We want a terminal, right? And also we want to know you know how big a human would be. Okay. So okay. So let's create a um, sort of a scale reference here before we're gonna start working on this terminal let's grab a cube and drop it in here and make it bigger so let's say this is a human okay so um you know that well maybe that size maybe yeah, maybe that size okay so almost a size of a terminal which means monitor should be somewhere here right keyboard should be somewhere here and let's make it a bit skinnier so as uh, shift c to scale it on each axis except um z and we can just you know add him some arms for fun so do something like this and extrude it here extrude it here and uh, move it down come on move it down there we go so that's our human right so if you're gonna move them move him closer here you'll see that uh, let's say there's gonna be some kind of a, a ground for it as well so you would need a keyboard somewhere here and the screen somewhere here and somewhere here some would be something else like lights or whatnot okay cool so what we need is a screen here first right so let's go to the front view and um let's cut the screen maybe maybe like this or maybe like this small screen uh, also in a view mode right so cut it in here like that right and move it in press w to remove the wedge thing and then press t for solidification b for uh, bevel and q to remove the quad bevel and shift it to life and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move it um out and down so it's sort of angles uh, you know kind of down if you know what i mean so kind of angles down i think maybe it's going to be better so what we're going to do is um select this and sharpen okay and then we're going to grab this one and move it outside s y zero to move it like this and then we're going to um cut it so we're going to grab an end gun and we're going to cut it like this okay so some like that boom right so the monitor actually whoa okay then monitor actually points down so select this and let's maybe isolate it okay first before we cut it and then we're gonna cut it one more time like this right boom okay so now you can see that uh, the monitor kind of points down in a way so sharpen this and we're going to run a chamfer around it okay we're going to scale it in in inset it uh, extrude it inside by pressing E Y, then insert it again, right, and then extrude it on E Y again like this. Okay, so now you get this monitor here, kind of pointing down, which is cool. Also, we could create an illusion that this monitor has some kind of rails or some kind of a mechanism here that allows it to travel out in and out. So do something like this: press T, um, bevel, and in fact, let's chamfer it. So when you move your mouse to the left and bevel then you move again and chamfer and you can move it you know back and forth and change the way 
uh, the cut is being beveled or chamfered so one more time let's chamfer it so b and let's you know chamfer it like this that's gonna be cool also it's a bit too much uh, of a solidification so switch to life solidify make it a bit smaller and uh, Bob Janko sharpen and then what we're gonna do is move it outside so GX and move it outside like that and uh, you know we're gonna have something like this which is pretty cool and here uh, well we could just move it inside a bit maybe it's too much so move it inside a bit and scale it just a little bit on you know on a different axis and you got this kind of uh, this maybe too much uh, just a little bit yeah and on the axis there you go that's better this is gonna bake well okay this is gonna bake well so that's that and we could have some kind of uh you know cables coming out in here as well if you wanted to but to be honest let's not over complicate this thing we need a chamfer here too um so let's grab this also this is not i think this is not in the middle so what we're gonna do is mirror this first so let's mirror this uh, first like this and then did it work no it didn't hang on hang on hang on there we go that was weird okay so now what we need to do is um chamfer this one okay so let's grab this shape here around and chamfer it like that boom so we got the chamfer going on uh, which is awesome looking good and then we're gonna create this terminal here so we need another cut okay for the terminal so let's cut it again uh, so we can actually grab this cutter so shift 2 and alt h and grab this this cutter right and shift d and z and move it down and you know difference right so we got the same thing here in the bottom and then shift two and now we need to uh, bring our cube again i think but you know more or less i think if we're gonna input a keyboard in here this should be fine right so the head is here the keyboard should be even lower i think so let me just uh um let me just uh click on this middle thing f scroll and gz and move it a bit lower uh, somewhere here i think that will do so that's that and we're going to create like a kind of a keyboard in here or some kind of a you know um space for typing whatever so sharpen this and um, we're going to run the chamfer around it again uh, so mark all of it here around and chamfer this like this okay it's peachy and then this one um we need a cut inside it again so uh, what we're gonna do is select this ctrl lp to its own selection select these two faces in fact let's remove this um this edge here so let's select that move it here edge mode grab this edge dissolve it select the face go to edge mode ctrl b and chamfer okay and then what we can do is um create some keyboard in here that's gonna actually kind of slide out if you know what i mean so let's um create maybe something like this and you know b um for a bevel and this bevel could be let's say four segments okay this will do and press t like this okay and we're going to sharpen this and we're gonna grab this one and you know insert it a bit okay uh, or in fact we could just gy move it outside okay and then we're gonna break it in half so let's um let's introduce a loop here okay s y zero to make it straight then we're gonna bring a cursor to this edge with shift s we're gonna select this face here go to side view switch pivot to cursor here okay and r uh, x and uh, move it down that didn't work very well hang on a second select this whole thing with ctrl plus r x one more time sorry r y and it's fascinating uh, okay maybe it's rotated or something 
weird. Uh, let's set the mark here so it's kind of bent, uh, bent like this. Uh, pretty cool. And we could just, you know, narrow it down in here a little bit so it's kind of narrower like this. Not so, you know, not so um, thick. And slice it straight so it's actually, you know, it's actually straight. So grab a box and select this and simply slice it and apply sharpen and also make this bevel a little bit smaller because it's insane and there you go there's your keyboard and of course we need to you know input some stuff here now this keyboard could be retractable so ctrl lp to its own selection and we're not gonna create some kind of you know i don't know um some kind of cut in here as well just for fun or in fact we could do something like this you know um Just cut it through to you know um, introduce some cool shape why not let's do it yeah and this is gonna be our low poly as well so kind of like this and um we could have some you know keys in here so grab this now what we're gonna do is gonna go to um to mesh tools okay and um, so you need to install this add-on. This is a Blender native add-on, so if you don't have it, just simply go to Preferences and click Type Edit Mesh Tools, under Add-ons preferably, Edit Mesh Tools, and enable this, Save Preferences, you're good to go. So select the face, right-click uh, Mesh Tools, and click on Filler, um, Face Inset Filler, and you're going to get something like this. And then we can adjust it, um, Hold Shift to adjust the size, um, number of words, let's make it maybe eight. Okay. And then, um, you know, distance, you can just change the tension here. So let's make something like this and then simply extrude it a lot that inset it one more time and extrude it up. Okay. And then we go into, um, chamfer it and you're going to get something like this, which basically looks like a bloody keyboard let's chamfer these things as well so let's go to the top view and let's draw a cut here press k for knife let's remove all this junk uh, because we don't need it so that's that and we're gonna grab uh, these edges here and we're going to chamfer them a little bit like that let's recalculate um sharps because we got these sharps we're gonna cause problems again so Control shift on sharpen sharpen this edge manually all around okay so mark sharp right and we don't need so many connecting edges here but we might need them later for star connect anyway for triangulation so just leave it like that um so you know let's save it because a lot of work and then we're gonna create some keys here which we're basically gonna bake uh, into the mesh so uh, 